Oh man, look at this. It has been crazy out here. Having some big storms out in California. Luckily I put this nice thick floor down in my airplane hangar. So if I, if I step here, the, uh, the water kind of squishes up, but luckily it's keeping the airplane dry enough. So we got the uh, double tarps going on. And <clears throat> so she's uh, staying nice and nice and dry in here otherwise. So people have been asking, what's the status of the plane? So it's a big project and I thought I'd show you. I set myself a goal that by the end of 2016, I would have this right side door window project finished and I just barely, I just barely did it. A couple weeks before, or a couple days before the end of 2016, I finally finished it. So anyway, here it is. This is what, let me show you what I've done. Um, the original BD4 door plans just called for a window up here. I cut another hole in the skin and put some more plexiglass down here so that I could have some great uh, unobstructed view once I'm flying, looking down below. Um, so let's take a look inside. Here's the door frame. Uh, if we look over at the other one, you can see it's got the uh, zinc chromate primer on it. So the, uh, the door frame itself is actually steel, one of the few steel parts in the aircraft. Uh, so I stripped all that off. There was some minor corrosion on it, you know, just surface stuff, but I wanted to get a nice good fresh start here. So that's all been stripped off, uh, repainted. And uh, there it is, the new window on the bottom. I guess if we step inside here, maybe I can show you what the view looks like or what it might kind of look like. So here we are, I'm sitting in, in the seat here, here's the panel. And just a little look to the right, you can see the, the landing gear, the wheel. Of course, when we're flying, that's gonna be a great view of what's down below. And of course, this is a trail dragger plane too, so the nose sits kind of high. So, you know, when you're taxiing, it'll probably be a nice little bit of extra patch of vision there that you can kind of see out. So that's what it looks like in here. Uh, let's step out of the plane and talk a little bit about what 2017 is gonna bring for my BD4. I'm planning on having a really good year, really good 2017 for the construction of, uh, of my plane here. Um, I wanna make a lot of progress. And I don't, I'm not gonna rush anything, you know, where safety is concerned, but I just, I don't want this project to sit here. So after completing this really small project of the door, you know, cutting the hole in the bottom, I've definitely been getting excited to, uh, you know, kind of create a plan and just work at it little bit by little bit so that I get this thing done in a really timely manner. Um, so you saw that the uh, right side door, that's finished. Now I'm going to go and tackle the left side door. And then after that, um, the two main things are going to be kind of cleaning up the skins on the rest of the plane. If you look over here at the, uh, the right side door, you can see the skin relative to the rest of the skin on the airframe is uh, shinier. So it's been cleaned up. So I'm gonna be doing that to the rest of the aircraft, clean up all the uh, skin and get it uh, prepped for paint. So if we take a look back inside here, um, we can see the cabling that runs for, this is the ailerons here. So there's a cable that runs over, little pulley there, and it runs back down to this corner down here. And then that goes up and pushes up inside this panel right here, uh, goes up to a push rod that eventually pushes the ailerons to make them twist. And of course, there's some cabling down here too. Uh, now, apparently this has been done with galvanized and uh, it's been recommended to go back and do this with stainless steel. So anywhere there's cabling, I'm gonna redo that. Of course, this one's a little loose. Uh, so we got uh, for the ailerons there, we've got some cables in here for the uh, the rudder system. And of course, this would be your, your elevator trim. Uh, this push-pull tube right here is actually for the, the uh, horizontal control surface. So that looks pretty good. But uh, yeah, doing the cabling, is definitely gonna be the next thing after the skins that I uh, that I go for. And of course, we look back here. This is a continuation of the cabling for the uh, the rudder and the tail wheel steering system. So that's gonna get redone. Shouldn't be too hard. Well, after the uh, skins are cleaned up and the rigging's done, I'm gonna go in here and do a little work on the uh, the panel. Basically, I'm just gonna take this all out and kind of start from start from scratch, start from new. I will be keeping some of these gauges, but I will also be incorporating a uh, small sort of glass panel in this aircraft. So this will be getting changed up, but I'm gonna take this out, then I'll have access to get back there and you know make any changes for the uh, the fuse bus and uh, other sort of, uh, you know, get the basic electrical setup uh, started for when I start putting stuff back in. Um, and then after that, uh, of course, I do have to put the front window in. There's nothing in here right now. It's just a flat piece of plexiglass. So I will probably do that too. 
Um, that shouldn't be too hard. I do have to replace this piece right here. Uh, from the factory, they have a nice new curved piece right here. It's got a more gentle radius on it, uh, which helps for streamline of the aircraft and uh, makes it a little more efficient. So after that's done, then comes the big challenge of rebuilding the wings. So here we are right here, here's, the, here's one of the wings. Of course, that's the big spar tube that slips over this center spar tube here. So that's gonna be pretty much all that's left uh, for rebuilding the wings. I'm gonna take all this off. All these uh, fiberglass original uh, wing paneling, wing buckets is gonna be gone and I'm gonna be starting from scratch. And I'll be making, uh, the current plan is to be making the ribs out of, out of aluminum. The whole wings are gonna be remade out of aluminum. And there are plans to do that. Um, there's a guy years ago who uh, rebuilt his BD4 wings and made, made plans and is, uh, still sells my I believe, so I'll be purchasing those plans. Well, that's the basic idea. I don't want this thing to sit here and just become dormant. I want to come out all the time and be working on it. And I get a lot of stuff done this year. As you can see, it's pretty stormy here. <laughs> um, so luckily uh, my shelter is holding up with all this rain and wind we've been having and I hope it stays that way. Anyway, so that's a little update. We'll see you guys later.